what's popping guys this is going to be the last time you see me for the weekend because i'm trying to figure out a schedule that works for me so that i can keep my life in order y'all because if i don't have things plotted out or wrote down on a checklist or a to-do list or something like that child my life be full of shenanigans and disorder and that's all i can say about that you know when you get older it's hard for you to remember shiz you know so you got to write everything down in order for your life to work and maintain shit anyway enough talking about that let's talk about this hey guys hey this is nay follow me on ig periscope twitter spreaker and support me on patreon and neighbor up on youtube don't forget to like this video share this video comment respectfully and subscribe now let's talk about these angry men at the end of the day, we're sisters and we talk about each other's situa situations all the time. Yeah. And, you know, one of the crazy things is you can't talk about our relationships and think that it's okay. And then when it's reciprocated, it's supposed to be off limits. Judge. And besides, we're not the ones who put it on social media about her, you know, truculent relationship with her estranged husband. When Trina and I was going through our divorces, she had a lot to say. She had, she made a lot of opinions. As a matter of fact, when Trina was talking about her divorce, she shouted. You know, I just think that it's almost as if, okay, I can do you, but you better not do me. Unfortunately, I wish some of this stuff was scripted, but this is real life. Um, I'm, it's, it's not like all the other shows where we're put together. Um, all the other shows, when they go through situations, they get to go home. But for us, we have to take it, it home is, and yeah. we still have to deal with it. The things that you see for Braxton Family Values is real life stuff. So, Tamar so, really did go on social media okay. and say these things. Mommy really did talk to you guys at TMZ and say how she felt about things, you know? Um, I just think that for our show, I wish if some of it was scripted so it won't be so painful sometimes. Time. Are you guys talking to her now, or even when the cameras are off, or are you guys shut off? Um, it's, I think it's sporadic. It depends on her mood. Yeah, uh, or are you guys talking to Vincent at all on the show? No. No. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And, and certainly not off the show, I would imagine. TMZ reported, Tamar Braxton is getting all but hurt over her estranged husband's portrayal on Braxton Family Values. It makes zero sense to her sisters who say they're going to keep trashing him like family should. Trina, Tawanda, and Tracy, Braxton told us Wednesday, Tamar's stance is hypocritical because she's guilty of airing the dirty laundry of other family members in the past. We broke the story. Tamar thinks the show's new season has been edited to vilify her soon-to-be ex, Vincent Herbert. The sisters didn't exactly deny doing it, but said they just keep it real by sharing their true feelings, whether they're on or off camera. So I don't know if you all seen the clip of Toni Braxton um, where she was getting interviewed and the interviewer asked her about her relationship with Birdman and whether or not uh, she believed that Tamar and Vincent Herbert were actually going to get a divorce. Tony's response was, no, I don't think they're going to get divorced, but I think that they are going through it. Now, me being a big sister and me being a Libra also, I just believe that Tony's patience and tolerance for Tamar and Vince shenanigans is different from their other sisters because they have zero tolerance for their BS. I, I, hey, look, you know, I, I, look, we all know that Tamar gets on everybody nerves right but she's just a, a lost insecure mess to me she's just so uh, just much of a mess that my heart just goes out to the day on girl but any rate um i believe that this was a plan that they had that tamar went to her mother and her family her sisters and said look this is for real this time i believe that the sisters knew that tamar and vince had a tumultuous relationship for years i remember situations where on breasted family values when i was watching it where i remember them having scenes where the girls were hinting at them two having a problem anyway you know but i believe that when Tamar went to them with such sincerity that they was like, good, I've been holding a lot of things back anyway. You know, I've been ready to trash this ninja anyway for how he treats my sister. But the backfired part about what happened with Tamar and Vince is that they're working on their marriage. 
And one thing you never want to do is you never want to talk about your relationships with your friends, your family, because guess what? You may be over it, but they're not. Ebony.com reported, Wendy Williams recently returned to her hit show after a three-week hiatus, tearing up as she thanks staff and fans for encouraging her through her health troubles. Both supporters and detractors have speculated as to whether her grace disease is the real reason for the impromptu break, including Power 105's Charlemagne the God, who shared his opinion during the Breakfast Club's rumor report segment. Glad you got a handle on your health, and please let the record show everybody is watching you closely now. So if you slip up again, people are going to know it's not your health. What? Okay. You don't think she has Graves' disease? Co-host Angela Yee asks. Just saying. People are watching her closely now. He responds. So if she slips up again, people will know it's not her health. Later adding, I'm just saying, hypothetically, it could be drugs. Charlemagne of God, you are a goddamn demon for that. You know, listen, y'all know that Charlemagne of God is a cancer and them ninjas never forgive or friggin' forget. Now, they'll make you think that they done forgot about all the BS that you done took them through and how you carried them and anything foul that you did to them. Oh, but they're going to jab you in the neck every chance they get. I'm telling you, it is just funny to me because I kind of take his uh, accusations of, of continued drug use as truth because who knows a cancer but another cancer the shade room reported bobby valentino is the latest entertainer to be accused of rape according to tmz officers say that a woman named the singer as her rapist in a police report filed in cobb county cobb county wait a minute am i in cobb county is buckhead in cobb county what the hell is going on? I tell you, that motherfucker come near me. I'm going to mace the fuck out of his little ass. But anyway, okay. A rep for Bobby B tells TMZ that they are pursuing legal action against what appears to be a weak yet calculated attempt to obtain financial gain through ulterior motives in this matter. Financial gain? What? When is the last time that... I mean, Bobby Valentino is running out on paying transsexuals. Why would they think that they could get some money from him? He's running out on... He can't pay. You, you know what T.S. Mannis used to say? You got to pay to play with the girls. Why people be pursuing money after the wrong motherfuckers? Where's your aunties? Where's your OGs at to teach you how to play this oh, game? Oh, boy. Lisa bloomed and found another black man to take down. She probably like sweating right now thinking about taking Trey Songs down. Now, that ninja need to be taken down. He need to learn how to keep his goddamn hands to TMZ himself. TMZ also reported that we've been keeping you updated on this Trey Songs domestic violence case. And it seems like things may get worse. Though Trey has denied the allegations... Lisa Bloom says she has other credible women who are accusing Trey of physical assault. In an interview with Pop Culture, Lisa Bloom confirmed multiple women have reached out to her to allege they were also physically assaulted by Trey, but two women in particular reported, reportedly have receipts. Lisa claims she will be keeping the names confidential as of now. But she did say so far they come across as very credible and they say they have evidence to support. Even Marcel Pitford, I'm sorry I dumped you. I'm sorry I left you and I kept the four bedroom apartment. And when I got evicted, you got sued as well. I'm sorry you were mean to my daughter Genesis and I left you. But don't lie on me. Please. About everything I said yesterday and I just want to say, man, I meant all that shit. I'm not playing. You know what I'm saying? I got people every day when I walk around the street, people think I'm a woman beater. I'm in fear of my life. My shawty always on some bullshit like Chicago So I flip that middle finger and the index finger follow Deuces, we ain't got no future in tomorrow I'm a dick, so it shouldn't be that hard to swallow The other chick I'm with never complaining She make me wanna leave the one I'm with, Usher Raymond 
Probably didn't register. Don't trip. Later on, it will. Shorty full of drama like Ladies, y'all need to do something about these angry ass men. That means if you know you in a house with an angry ass son, you need to get his ass some help. Period. Point blank. See, that's why I don't have no kids. That's too much responsibility to make sure that a child is raised right accordingly, according to social norms and making sure that he's not, you know, aggressive towards women to be socially intact. Like that's too much responsibility. When people be like, why you don't have kids? That's why. I don't like being responsible for nobody else but me and my own actions. Shit, I can barely keep myself together. At any together. rate, don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment respectfully, and subscribe. For all Nurse Gang t-shirts, go to nursegang.store. Now remember this, the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves. Have a good one. Deuce.